Hey guys, this is Cody from ITVision.com and today we are going to do something very exciting. We are going to answer your prayers when it comes to Bookshare. Now a lot of vision professionals know about Bookshare, they know how to search for books, they know how to download them and get them in that daisy format, but the question becomes where do our, we send our students to read those books? And today we're going to answer that question with a program called Dolphin Easy Reader. But today we're going to be talking about Easy Reader specifically as a solution for low vision students trying to access books through Bookshare. And it's super, super easy. So stick with us. Now the beautiful thing about Dolphin Easy Reader is that it is available through the Microsoft Store, okay? So we do another video on how to access Easy Reader through their iOS app, which is absolutely free, or their Android app, okay? But today we're gonna be looking at um, a Microsoft PC, and we can get Easy Reader on a Microsoft PC, on a Windows PC through the Microsoft Store. If you don't know how to access that, I'm going to come down here in the bottom left corner. I'm going to click on the Windows icon, okay? And the Microsoft Store, we can actually type it in, all right? Cody clicks on the Windows icon to access the Start menu. He types the first few characters of the words Microsoft Store. Oh, and there it is. It's a suggestion. It says Microsoft Store. I'm going to press Enter to open this up. Okay. Now, the beautiful thing about the Microsoft Store is that all the programs and all of the software that is in the Microsoft Store is safe for download. So school districts usually really like it when something is in the Microsoft Store because they know it's already been vetted by Microsoft. So that's a really great aspect of Easy Reader. Now, I'm going to come over here to search, and this is very important. We're going to type in Easy Reader, but all one word. If I do Easy Reader, right, like that. Cody types Easy Reader with a space. Guess what? We're not going to find it. It's not in here. All right. It has to be Easy Reader with no space. So I'm going to delete that space. And oh, there we go. I'm going to click on that. Easy Reader appears as a suggestion. Cody clicks on it. Here's our Easy Reader app. Now, look at this. I already downloaded my free trial. I have 29 days, 23 hours remaining. I obviously just did it, right? <laughs> so I can click launch here. You probably will see free trial right here. Where mine says launch, it'll see free trial. Now, you can also see this price, $47.99. Now, keep in mind that in the world of blindness technology, that price is like a beautiful thing, right? When we're sitting here pre uh, paying $1,000 for JAWS or $1,500 for an 18 cell braille display, right? $47.99 is almost nothing. So it's really, really great price. Um, but if you want to download this free trial just to trial it with your student, absolutely do that. So I'm going to launch Easy Reader right now, okay? And here it is, Easy Reader. Now, the beautiful thing about Easy Reader is that you can not only access Bookshare books, but you can also access books from all of these other um, different libraries, EPUB books, Project Gutenberg, R&B Bookshare, um, Vision Australia. Okay, if you're familiar with these libraries, they are built in. But a lot of people, especially in the United States, will be looking for Bookshare. Okay. Now, I have already put in my username and password for my Bookshare account. When you click on Bookshare for the first time, it will ask you to do that, okay? But now that I'm in Bookshare, guess what? I don't even have to go to the Bookshare website like we usually do, right? If your student has an individual account, that means that they are not tied to your institution. They can look up books on their own. They can do this right from the Easy Reader app. You can go to My History. You can go to Popular, right? Um, or you can search. So for example, I'm going to search for a book right now to, I'm going to search for to kill a mockingbird, right? Cause that is a huge popular book in high school. Okay. And here it is. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to download it and it's going to download it right to my library, right to my books. All right. So there you go. I'm going to click up here on my books. Here it is to kill a mockingbird. I'm going to press play and it's going to open. Now, just mind you, I did not set anything up before this tutorial. I did not go in and choose what book I wanted to download. I didn't assign it to anything. I literally just downloaded To Kill a Mockingbird from Bookshare. Now, let me ask you, is this not the easiest way that you've ever seen somebody access a Bookshare book? And it's that easy for your students as well. Now, there's so many great features in Easy Reader, such as this button that will allow you to access your table of contents. So we can go right to chapter three, for instance. We can also, of course, in regular fashion, play. So if you have a student um, that has a learning disability or needs that 
audio feedback. You can cl click play. Chapter 3. Catching Walter Cunningham in the right, school. Isn't that amazing? You can go move forward by sentence. You can move back by sentence. And then you can also change all of these different visual features, right? So the beautiful thing um, that I like to do is um, if your student likes, like, for example, inverted colors, you can change the text color to white. Then you can change the background color to black. What? You can change the highlight color to maybe green. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe we'll change it to blue. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can do all of these customizations. You can increase the text size, right? Line spacing, margins. All right. You can do all of these right within this little box and within easy reader, right? Uh, so this is it. That's that's about it. We can do so many different things with Easy Reader, but the beautiful thing about it is that this is simple, user-friendly, and intuitive. Something that I know that all TVIs really struggle with when it comes to Daisy Books and Bookshare. Thanks for joining us for this week's quick tip. For more information, visit us online at itvision.com and make sure to check back every week for more videos to help you support your students as they actively participate and contribute to their communities. I'm Cody LaPlante, and on behalf of everyone at IT, thanks for watching. Dolphin Computer Access was not involved in the production of this video.